There is no doubt a 12-gauge pump shotgun is a formidable weapon. Military assault type rifles like this AK-47 are also impressive, especially because they can handle large capacity magazines allowing you to shoot many times without reloading. The rifle used by James Holmes was an AR-15 like this one. It's the semi-automatic version of the military M16, popular among shooters, hunters, and gun enthusiasts. At this point, no one is saying Holmes broke any laws by simply owning or obtaining the guns. Obviously, the guy was willing to commit any crime out there, so having another gun law on the book would not have affected this at all. With the exception of just a handful of states, there is nothing illegal about owning a weapon like this in this country, as long as you pass the federal background checks. Holmes also had two 40 caliber Glock handguns in his possession. Glocks are extremely popular weapons with shooters, law enforcement, and military around the world. When it comes to gun laws, Colorado's actually a little tougher than Ohio and many other states, which leads Ohio Senator Eric Kearney to suggest the movie Massacre should have a lot of people asking cautious questions. I think it is time to maybe look at, look at things and, and see where we are. Now, that doesn't mean that we should outlaw guns. I'm not advocating that. But it is the time to be thoughtful because uh, these incidents happen. We have to find out why. Is there something that we as a society can do to prevent them? Questions are being raised by gun rights advocates as well. If there possibly was somebody in that theater that had training, that had a firearm, that had a concealed carry license, would we be talking the numbers that we are talking now? or? Would he have given up when he met any resistance? As the smoke clears, certainly both sides will be looking for even more answers.